Fly Girls, How Five Daring Women Defied All Odds and Made Aviation History by American journalist Keith O'Brien is an illuminating account that traces the remarkable, prolific, and courageous journeys of a group of women who played pivotal roles in the early days of aviation science and the rise of flight as a viable means of personal transportation. Each of these remarkable women faced an uncertain path forward, contending with a society bound by rigid gender norms and skepticism about the capabilities of women aspiring to excel in this burgeoning field. Nevertheless, they triumphed over these unjust barriers and became the first to obtain pilot's licenses propelling themselves into direct competition with the leading male aviators in a profession fraught with peril and intense public scrutiny. O'Brien underscores the significant contribution made by these pioneering female aviators to the cause of feminism, as they captured the collective imagination of the public. Flight Girls commences by portraying the myriad challenges encountered in the early aviation industry. Aspiring pilots grappled with single-propeller aircraft that were often on the brink of disrepair, while their instruments were so intricate that assembling and preparing them efficiently was a monumental task, consuming precious time and resources. Consequently, the women O'Brien profiles faced terribly unsafe flying conditions, where their lives were at constant risk. These perils and frustrations were compounded by the opposition from male counterparts, some of whom, driven by sheer disdain, conspired to thwart their aspirations. O'Brien meticulously recounts the women's initial foray into aviation, as they navigated the intricate web of rules and regulations to enter and succeed in this male-dominated sphere. Fortuitously, there was no explicit ban on women's participation in air races, and the sport gained swift popularity, in part due to the efforts of affluent men like Cliff Henderson. O'Brien soberly notes that not all spectators were motivated solely by a desire to witness pilot excellence, some were drawn by the morbid anticipation of inevitable plane crashes. However, as air racing matured into an industry, there emerged mounting pressure to subject it to the same standards and gender biases prevalent in mainstream sports. Regrettably, Henderson wielded his influence to ban women from air racing. In response, the excluded women, who held a deep passion for the sport, united to assert their right to participate. Their activism served as a surrogate for the broader cause of women's equality, leaving an indelible mark on subsequent women's rights movements pertaining to labor and political empowerment. Among the luminaries profiled by O'Brien is Amelia Earhart, who achieved fame but tragically vanished during her 1937 attempt to circumnavigate the globe. Prior to her fateful disappearance, Earhart had made history as the first woman to successfully cross the Atlantic in 1932. Beyond her aviation feats, Earhart was known for her compassion and intellect. Ruth Nichols, hailing from an affluent family, defied their expectations and wealth to become a daring pilot. Florence Klingensmith, an aviation mechanic, transformed into a prodigious stunt woman. Louise Thaden, a former coal business proprietor and a busy mother, managed to earn a pilot's license in her precious spare hours. Ruth Elder, a striking actress, challenged preconceived notions of female capabilities, nearly outperforming Earhart in her transatlantic voyage. Flight Girl stands as an inspiring and profound tribute to the lives of these extraordinary female aviators who soared to greatness despite the formidable odds stacked against them. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.